Hello and welcome back to another episode of AFC Wimbledon Rags to Britches and in this episode we play South End and I think we said this before they're 17th in the league table so it shouldn't be too hard I hope but I'm going to try and get through as much matches as I can today and so it might be about 3 matches, 3, 4 matches so I'll see how time goes and let's do this so we're away in this game, we're in the yellow, um, uh, let's put Samuel on, I want him to start this game. I want Davis to speed come on in this game as well. And let's bring you here. Okay. Let's start the game. That's not much. Third. And in goes the cross. And it's a headed effort at goal. Won the aerial battle, but didn't get a goal to show for it. Well, we've seen Keep plenty on. of nine minutes played, one nil. Interesting news again from Alan McInally. Thanks, Alan. Going for goal! It's come off the goalkeeper, still in... He can put them in front. Well, they've broken through here with a really good goal. And the celebrations reflect that. The supporters are going crazy. It's a terrific moment for the team. What a great goal that was, Alan. Well, the keeper, quite rightly, is disgusted with his defenders because they've just not helped him out there. And they're keeping... Surely, the equaliser... And that's the goal that's brought them level. The great thing about this side, Alan, there's so many players seem to be on the same page. They've passed the ball here. With... Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. And now the shot! Great effort. He's the kind of player that can make a difference. Routine for the keeper. It's a goal for Bolton Wanderers. 65 minutes played. This with a chance to go into the lead now. Well, there's nothing still to separate these teams despite these chances. To put them in front. Corner given. Well, it will be a throw. It's gone out off that player there. They might open them up now. Going for goal! On narrow margins in the match and in this incident. Okay, that was not our best match. One all against a team at 17th. We could have done better, we should have done better. But, you know, let's look forward into our next match. Where we are playing Bristol Rovers. So let's see what place they are. 19th. The 19th. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can do this. Okay, let's get into it. So we're home in this game. We're okay, let's take Washington off. That seems to be a bit set. Okay. Let's start the game. Alan Smith is with me. I'm Martin Tyler. Delighted to have your company for this match today. 4-2. Yeah, how it always used to be. Don't see... This with a chance to go into the lead now. Oh, poor chap, it's an own goal.
Well, it is a goal. It is an own goal. I don't think there's much doubt about that, Alan. No, none at all. You're in those positions, so Good forward play from them. Surely, the equaliser. The possibilities were turning into probabilities as the move developed on that counter-attack. And now they'll be reflected. Real opening now. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll fail. Here's a chance to attack. This is how they love to play on the break. In with the chance. They score. On to the attack now. Shots on here. Oh, great work by the keeper. He's got his fist to it. The break is definitely on. Shots on. Bounce back off the post. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. Well, that should be a penalty, it is! Well, he's given a penalty, it's a yellow card, Alan. I think that's fair enough from the ref. It was, it was a clear foul, and it's a clear penalty. Great penalty! He's one of the lads who really wants to take on this responsibility, and it showed. Well, he enjoys the responsibility. Yeah, I think he had the old magic sponge. And here's the shot. Not far away at all, but in these circumstances, Alan, nearly is not enough. Dean Parrott. Shot on! Good stop by the goalkeeper. OK, that wasn't... That's us back. 4-0. Um, got an own, well, they had an own goal at the start of the match, two minutes in, three minutes in, which gave us the lead. Alex, uh, he was injured, he's injured for three weeks. So that's the update on that. We're against Bolton next. Uh, this, can, this can give us a bigger lead. This is a very important game for us, you know, if they win. We're one point ahead. We're still ahead. That's the main thing. Um, going to keep Taylor on. Put this man on. Kelly. No. Davies. Let's bring him up. Okay, that should be it. That should be fine. Right, let's get on with this. Come on, and he's furiously waving at the ref, trying to get attract his attention. Face to try and hit it now. A oh, great one. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance. It's come to him so early in the game, but I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off, and they've taken the lead here. Where did that goal come from? Top class. We well, could be in. The shot's on. Well, that's the old one-two. So quick, one after the other. Well, goodness me, talk about efficiency in attack. They have scored again. Well, it's a goal. Uh, <laughs> lovely one-touch football. And he's in. And an opportunity chances now attacking now space for the shot Samuel and it's in for the goal and it's a substitute who scored he's uh, definitely come on to try and do that and he's made his manager very he's got his shot off now oh it's off the bar here's Taylor on the attack here right on top of this the ref right to the last it's a yellow card and well it was a certain yellow card wasn't it yeah i think so looking back on it he had no choice at all and he heads it for goal and he goes for goal with his head so close with that header oh he's good at that he's got he? a much better ratio of shots to goals than the other that's surprising good score they have got a goal and we should give them a pat on the back for that because some teams would have packed it in at this stage I bet they were thinking they'd never beat the goalkeeper. No wonder they're so happy. Well, if at first you don't... Davis. Attacking now. 
He might be through. Davis. And they've scored. Oh, it's another fine goal. And uh, the keeper, who's had to pick the ball out the net, he's had a miserable time, as have the losing side here. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two. OK, we won 4-1. That was a good goal. Good goal by Davis at the end. Uh, his first goal. Newcomer, very young teenager coming to the club and getting that goal. Very well done. Uh, done very well for that. Connor Washington sprained his ankle. He'll be out for three weeks, just like the other newcomer this man right here but that will give us time to train some other people like this man here let's get that eh. Davis, yeah, just get yeah, out. We're gonna get a few for Davis because he's unknown, so we need to get Shea up as well. Easy shoot. And then we'll go for the goalkeeper shoot. <coughs> right. That's hopefully going to be okay. <coughs> oh, and, uh, could have done better. Hopefully I've done better. But that'll be fine. That nah, will be fine. Okay, well, let's find out who we're playing next and we'll end here. Now there's some more scouts coming in, we'll get that next episode. Bradford, we're playing next. And where are they on the table? They're 16. Okay, so we're playing that region right now. Right, that's fine. So. Tune in for our next episode when we take on Bradford City, sorry, just Bradford, and hopefully we can continue this run of goal scoring, winning, and staying at the top. Thank you, and join next time for the new episode of AFC Wimbledon Rags to Riches. <laughs>